Good morning, my lovelies. This is Miss Jacob coming straight from that spiker saw, okay? AKA the messenger, for it's always a message for you. But it's up to you to discern what Miss Jacob is trying to say. Remember, I'm just an outsider looking into your world, seeing things that you do not see, okay? <laughs> but we're going to dive right into this, right? I guess the name of this is called uh, Real Talk Chronicles. Doctrines of Devils and Addressing Issues and the Purge Part 2, okay? Docket number 0001-1, Sister Sharon from Motivating You to Win, response video. She stated that oral sex is prohibited in a marriage. Then she turned around and threw sodomy in there as a monkey wrench to try to justify and back up her reasoning of oral sex being prohibited in a marriage, right? And then she did another video of tithing and another video of a young lady that um, I guess she was spreading a message that she was in her room and um, Miss Sister Sharon uh, had stated that uh, you're not supposed to bring nobody in your room or bring in a message or whatever she was saying, but we're going to address one one at a time. But let me just make this disclaimer, okay? Sister Sharon is, from motivating you to win, is indeed a very devout uh, soldier in the military, okay? So let me just make that disclaimer. This has nothing to do with her being in the military, but it just has something to do with her doctrine that, you know, she's, uh, she's spreading to the listener or to people. Now, sometimes I watch Sister Sharon and sometimes she says some things. I listen to anybody. And everybody, because like I said, you know, you can learn something from a test tube dummy, okay? So I do listen to Sister Sharon from um, time to time, okay? Now, um, first, uh, oral sex being prohibited in a marriage. First, Sister Sharon, there is no, first of all, oral. Oral is the mouth, the mouth, right? Okay, so what is oral sex? Okay, oral sex could be kissing, hugging, foreplay, fondling around, kissing on your neck, nibbling on your ears. You know what I'm saying? Anything to do with the mouth and saliva, okay? So it's like, what what, what do you mean oral sex is prohibited in a marriage, okay? Now, when you read in the book of Leviticus, okay, it says sodomy, sodomy. So regardless if the person is straight, regardless if the person is straight or uh, let's just say part of the LGBTQ or whatever, sodomy is just prohibited period okay and um also genesis 19 1 to 30 when uh destruction of sodom and gomorrah okay so sodomy is just prohibited period okay but there is no list in the bible of how to please your spouse it doesn't say that you suppose you're not you can't kiss your spouse or you can't hug your spouse or you can't, you, it doesn't say that, Sister Sharon, and you know that, and I know that too. But what it does say that we could both agree on is that sodomy is prohibited, period, end the story. Like, that is, there's no discussion about that. Like, that's just prohibited, okay? We, we, we all know that, okay? But as far as um, kissing and hugging and foreplay, there's no, uh, there's no list in the Bible of how to sexually please your spouse. Okay, and then uh, above it all, what somebody does in a bedroom is none of nobody else's business anyway. That's between them and the creator, not nobody else. Okay, now we done with that. Okay, we done with that. All right. The second video Sister Sharon did, she did, well, you did, okay, was um talking about tithing. Now we all know that all these fake religious organizations will use Malachi three to ten okay, to get rich off of, to make money off of, and then they will use Romans 13 to 1 to enslave you, okay, there's no secret about that, okay, now anything could be sowing the seed, we don't have to, the person don't have to sow a seed to you, okay, they could go outside and, and, and give it to the person, or they can, uh, they can hold the door, they see somebody coming out the door, they can hold the door for them, okay, they could practice good humility acts as well as a good of, of tithing, and offering the sowing seed. If they see a naked person out on the street, they could take their jacket off and give it to them. Or if they see somebody hungry, they can feed them. Or somebody come up to them and ask them for some change, they can.
could give it to them if they have it or whatever. If you see a blind person that's struggling or need help or whatever, you can help a blind person. If you're talking about the ones that's uh, with the stick, that's walking down the street with the stick. And so I see a lot of them walking by themselves. You can help them out. If you see like a, a, a homeless animal struggling, you can do help. Anything could be a form of tithing and offering. It don't necessarily have to mean give to you. Okay, <laughs> that's where a lot of people get it twisted. That you don't necessarily have to give to you or to no other uh, uh, religious organization. You could go outside and do it yourself. Okay, that way you know, or I know, or the person know that the person in need is getting the help and not the other person using it for their own selfish gain. Okay. Now another video you did. You did a video, Sister Sharon, for motivating you to win. You did another video of a young lady in her bed. Okay, and she was laying down in the bed and she had a scarf on. I guess she was reading some scriptures or whatever. But then you turned around and you stated that, number one, that's inappropriate what she's doing because she's not supposed to bring nobody into her bedroom. That's what you said. Sister Sharon, girl, you is so out of pocket with that because, number one, the Bible says if you have ears to hear, hear. If you have eyes to see, see. So it doesn't matter whether she's in a bedroom, in a park, in an alleyway, or whatever. It's the message that she's trying to convey, not where she's at. Sometimes I do a lot of messages, a, a lot of enlightening videos in my room, or I do it in a park. I do it wherever the qu it's quiet at, because I aim for it to be quiet, because the more the noise, it's just going to be so chaotic, and you can't understand what I'm saying. It's just whatever. So I like it to be peace and quiet, all right? So, yeah, if you got eyes to hear, if you got eyes to see, see. If you got ears to hear, hear. So, and it's not biblical, okay, that she's not to be in her room spreading God's message. She could be anywhere spreading her message, okay, Sister Sharon? So, you were out of pocket by saying that, all right? Now, next, okay, next, we done with Sister Sharon, okay? We done with that. Now, we're going to go on to uh, Miss Turtle Green Swamp Water Zakira Casado. Okay, we're going to get to you. Okay. <clears throat> now, Miss Turtle Green Swamp Water Casado stated in one of her uh, posts on Facebook, she stated, Want to be happy? Stop trying to be perfect. Green Brown. That's what she quoted. So I asked her some questions in reference to that, and she thought it was a joke and laughing and all this other goofy stuff. But here, psychology, the solution to humanity's problems is found within self. Self is the five, whether directly or indirectly. For instance, psychology, self-actualization is a process that leads to self-defecation, which ultimately replaces any need for salvation outside of humanity. Knowledge. Knowledge is the defecation process for humanity involved involves methods of plumbing the depths of unconsciousness, unconscious, excuse me, unconscious, which is called to be infinite, a reservoir that holds all mysteries of life. Defy means to refuse boldly to obey or yield to something thought to be impossible. Salvation is the preservation, deliverance from harm, ruin, or loss, deliverance from sin and its consequences. Okay, so I asked Miss Swamp Green Turtle Water Zakira Kasado, okay, what do she mean by want to be happy, stop trying to be perfect? Like, what do she mean by that? What do she mean by that? Like, she was just laughing about it. She thought it was funny. Then she said, um... She said nobody is perfect. And it was just, just saying all this stuff that just didn't make an ounce of sense. And I said, well, you have to aim for perfection. You have to, but she made it seem like you couldn't even aim for perfection. Like it was just so impossible. But what she felt fell to realize is that if you can't be perfect, that's because you chose not to be perfect. And you gotta understand, Miss Turtle Green Swat Water Casado, is that when you quote these. Uh, passages, these quotes from these devils, they use a form of psychology, okay? They use a form of psychology to play with your mind, to have you think that the thing's impossible that you can't do when all actuality, you can do them, okay? When you on that job, 
your manager or, or you want that promotion on your job, your boss don't care about uh, uh, what you can't do. They want to know, can you do it? Yes or no. That's it. And you're not getting no promotion on no job unless you prove your perfection, okay? If you get it wrong the first time, you keep on doing it. You keep on doing it until you perfect yourself. Practice makes perfect. And that's the problem with child today. Y'all make every excuse on why you cannot manifest a higher and greater you. Each and every day, you're supposed to die from old and the past, okay? Old in the past, you're supposed to die from and you're supposed to manifest the greater in you, okay? Because but outside of this physical body, behind you is a whole new you. You're supposed to manifest that. When you speak things, they're supposed to go into the existence depending on your heart, okay? And your faith level. But Zakira Casado, girl, let me just say this, okay? I noticed that you see all the RIPs that's going on, right? You see that, right? It's a reason for that. Now, one time, y'all took the time to sit back and think with common sense. Why are we dying like this? Why are we dying so young? Why? What's going on with this? Do you not see that somebody is watching you, Zakira Casada? Turtle green, swamp water? Do you not see that somebody is watching you? Do you not see whatever you want to call them, the Anunnaki, whoever, they watching you just like every other corner. You got a, you got a, a, a camera sitting there, right? Somebody is watching you. And what you say is being dispersed into the atmosphere and it's coming back to y'all in the form of death, okay? Because that type of attitude, let me tell you something, sister, or whatever you want to call yourself, okay? You coming off this arc. You coming off this arc. That type of mindset got to go. Okay, you're polluting our planet with that type of mindset. Okay, because all actuality, the creator, the divine, gave us dominion. Okay, he gave us power. He gave us dominion over things. Okay, but instead, you were taken out of your habitat, okay, and programmed into the wages of Hollywood. Hollywood, garbage and filth. Okay, garbage and filth. And you on your way up out of here just like the rest of the RIPs, okay? Your mindset got to be right. Your heart got to be right, sister. This, this spirit got to be right. Your spirit ain't right, okay? You not trying to manifest a greater in you, okay? You just want to make up excuses. Oh, you can't be perfect. Try to be perfect. Try to do it, all right? Try. Try, okay? Try to be perfect. And another thing is this. When you laughed at me, because I care a turtle green swap water, when you laughed at me, right? Let me tell you something. You and your family have posted a video kayaking in turtle green swamp water. How are you laughing at somebody but you in dirty water? How, 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 where they do that at? Where they do that? And I'm going to tag you too. I'm going to tag you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But where they, where they do that at? Why are you in turtle green water? If you're going to laugh, sweetie, make sure you in some clean water. Kayak in clean water. Not dirty swamp turtle water. You in turtle water. You in green turtle water and you laughing. Keep, 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 keep. Like it's a joke. It ain't a joke. It ain't a joke because these RIPs, <laughs> that ain't no joke. And the same thing that make you laugh is the same thing that's going to make you cry. And you're going to wish like your bottomless pits of Sha'ul. And if you don't know what Sha'ul is, that's a, look it up in Hebrew. S-H-E-O-L, Sha'ul. You're going to wish in your bottomless pit to Sha'ul, you would have tried a lot harder, okay, to be perfect, okay? <laughs> okay, but I'm about to be off this. It's called doctrines of devils, the purge, okay? Because the universe is purging y'all, getting y'all up out of here, y'all putting that into the atmosphere. You know, I was on the phone talking to Amira Barnes one, one day, and I was trying to tell her something because I'm seeing a lot of stuff going on. And I know, I know the truth. I know something that y'all don't know. And I would hate to, I hate to be the one to say I told you so. And I even hate to be the one to laugh at y'all, but you mocking me and I'm not the one to be mocked at. But you want to know what I told her? I told her something that could have saved her life. And she want to know, she want to know what she said. She said, that Bible is shit. She said, I don't believe in that shit. That's what she said. That's what she said. Now, she didn't really say it to me. She said it to the atmosphere. She said it to the atmosphere. What do you think is going to come? What do you think is going to happen? You think she's going to come out alive? Absolutely not. She ain't said it to me. She said it to him. Not me. She said it to him. What you say goes into the atmosphere. Words are spells. Okay, somebody is watching. And like I said, 
It's coming back to y'all in the form of death. You got to watch what you put out here to the atmosphere because your battle ain't with me. Your battle is with the creator, Google, not with me. I'm just the way in the message. I'm just the messenger looking into your world, seeing things that you do not see, okay? But a lot of y'all is getting up out of here with that. Y'all polluting the earth. Y'all polluting the planet, okay? This planet is supposed to be a peace, harmony, and the animals. All this garbage of Hollywood and filth. You got one chick on my page. She up here promoting drug, drug, the drug dealers. And drug, like, come on. Come on. This, this, it's, it's, it's just like, it's a never-ending thing. We got, like, y'all just don't get it. Y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. So I don't feel sorry for the RIPs. I really, really don't because y'all demonic and y'all demons. That's it. Y'all the aliens. Matter of fact, let me just say, let me rephrase that. Excuse me, because the alien is a stranger. But you are the people that they be talking about. But you see how they depicted the aliens, though, right? But look at the drugs y'all put into your bodies, though. Mm -hmm. We talk about the walking dead. Who you think the walking dead is? They talk about the zombies. Who you think the zombies is? Who you think they are? Look at the, look at the toxins and stuff that, that, that y'all put in your bodies. Look at the people that you lay down and have sex with. Okay? Look at your children. This is not a game. Okay, and I don't do these videos to be sitting up here one in my mouth. Okay, because I don't want to be popular. I don't want to be seen and I don't want to be heard. Ain't nothing funny, Miss Turtle Green Swamp Water. Okay, and like I said, next time you laugh, make sure you want some clean water and not some swamp turtle water. You understand that? Okay, hmm. And another thing is this, okay? Stop saying what you can't do. Because you have a choice. If you can't be perfect, Zakira, that's because you chose not to. That's your choice. Your choice. And you need to speak for yourself. Don't speak for me or don't speak for nobody else. Speak for yourself. Yourself. You. It's within you. You the captain of your ship. I'm not the captain of your ship. You the captain of your ship. If your name ain't written in the book of life, that's because of you. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. But I'm here to tell you, your name ain't written in the book of life. Okay? Sorry to tell you the truth. And the ones with the RIPs, none of their names is written in the book of life. So where they think they going? Where you think they going? <laughs> y'all lived in y'all own hell. Endless hell right here on earth. And your judgment is now. The sword been out. And it's killing y'all. Quick, fast, in a hurry. So, anywho. Time is of the assets. I sound the chauffeur. Do you know what the chauffeur is? Miss Zakira Casado, Turtle Green Swamp Water. Do you know what a chauffeur is? Oh, wait a minute. That's just too educational for you. But you want to know what else, too, Zakira Casado, Turtle Green Swamp Water? You are what you call an educated fool. You spent a lot of money on a piece of paper just to still be dumb. <laughs> when I said they call us N I double G E R, <laughs> you know what an N I double G E R is an uneducated. <laughs> you don't even know what you be quoting on. You be quoting these people that as soon as somebody asks you what it means, you get mad. Where, where you come from? Where you, where, 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 why you get defensive? You don't want that posted. If you don't know what you post, maybe you shouldn't just post it at all. <laughs> you people are goofy. And as soon as y'all get off our planet, because huh, this ain't your earth. This ain't your planet and this ain't your earth. Other people, other civilizations was here before y'all. Y'all just some visitors polluting their earth with your garbage that gots to go. Gots to go. It gots to get out of here. Gots to go. Gotta go down there with Satan. Go down there with his demons and his people. Stop polluting our earth, all right? Peace, harmony with the animals, okay? Try to save the planet. There's a lot of positive things you can do. Go do something with yourself. Sow good seed into the universe. Go help your fellow human. Do something. Do one good deed a day. You do one good deed a day, guess what? You put a smile on the heaven's face. You put a smile on their face. You out here on demon time. That's what y'all are. Y'all on demon time thinking that y'all gonna come out alive and then y'all not. Y'all not. I already told y'all it's the purge. I already told y'all y'all dying. She thinks it's safe. <laughs> Anywho, I'm about to be off this.
Hey, nothing personal. Just Real Talk Chronicles addressing issues. All right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going to do something else, too, called the Negro and the Willy Lynch Syndrome. I want to work on that. And I also want to work on, I want to get in touch with the um the fellow Hebrews out there. Okay? Uh -huh, yeah. Because there's some Hebrews out there. Or let's just say converts. There's a lot of converts out here. They've been waiting on Yosef Ben. So I want to work on something called why Yosef Ben never showed up and why he's not going to show up. Okay? Yeah, I want to do a couple of things. Okay? Before these platforms shut down. Because these platforms is not going to be up much longer. All right? So anywho, I'm about to be off this. All right? I found the show file here. This is Jacob. Aisha. All right? Huh. Live from the 716 Buffalo. <laughs> the messenger looking into your world seeing things that you do not see all right <laughs> i'm gone <laughs>